So we're back. Yes, we are. We are back, you guys. So you guys just saw this clip, okay, of San Francisco. I had a blast at San Francisco, but no, actually I did have a blast. I did have a blast. Um, I will say that once again, too much of certain things kind of ruined it for me. I was not being proactive in trying to break my habit. And I think that it did do a damper into my trip and it could have gone a little bit better, but hey, you know, you live and you learn and glad that I did not go to any shops or try to get anything over there in San Francisco because over there there's a lot of shops over there and um, I, will, I completely avoided that but I know that the alcohol kind of did something in regards to the trip so noticing a pattern you guys noticing patterns so on to the next clip okay we're going to Mexico I'm having a blast and but I'm sick unfortunately yes I'm very very sick so I gotta make the best out of it with the trip keep on rolling The best tacos ever. They have a photo of you. Buenas tardes. Gracias. Same stuff I always get. My tacos. You're gonna get the same stuff? Since 1973. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Got the sodas. Less than five minutes our food got here. <laughs> Eat that McDonald's. Eat that. And it's good food. Your attention, please. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so scary. <laughs> Light it up right there. This is where they keep the geese. But it looks like they don't have anything in here anymore. Put the light in there. Are they in there? Yeah, they are. How do you know? Geeses? This was the funnest thing ever when I was a kid. <laughs> we used to always fuck around with this. There's the bunnies in Oh, look, look, look. You see? They are in there. Light it up in there. <gasps> bunnies. <laughs> Bunny. Bunnies. They're fucking big. You want to pet it? You want to pet it? I always want to pet it. Light it up. See if they let me pet it. Bunnies! They're not gonna let me touch them, they're too scared. Bunnies? No. Those are two big ass bunnies, dude. You hear that? There's something above? So, where do the chickens hide when it rains then? <gasps> <Here's one. laughs> Look at this one. Is that a turkey? I think it's a turkey in there. A rooster? A chicken. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a baby rooster, dude. I think it's a baby rooster. Oh, look. We got the clang over here. 
Iban de chicken. Oh, there's a chicken up there. Baby. Oh man, a bird. The chicken could have fucking probably like shit on her head. Oh, the chickens are right there. Oh, look, they only have a chicky, a little one. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna drop it. Aww. Yeah, gonna, Zoom in. Zoom in. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. She just pew 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 pew, pew and then she caught her. It's mother nature. We'll survive. We got the saddles over here. Is there a horse here? Oh, there he is. Look at him. Horsey. Horsey? Can I pet you? Oh, it's letting me pet it. Oi. Oi. Oh. This is horse supposedly. Feels your anxiety. It's hungry. Want food? Ay, 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 ay. But well, why you got tears in your eyes? Looks like you got tears in your eyes. Are you hungry? You remind me of chinks. I mean, I'm assuming it's hungry because it's cold. You know, when you're cold, you shiver a lot and you burn calories, right? I don't think there's any. Because if not, we would have been hearing them like. Cuddled up, that's why. Owie, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Allá, o allí, quiera. Ahí no está agarrando macizo. Ahí sí. That's fucker? Yeah. I'm gonna take that. Bouncing on it's that. wine. Hey. It's got oh, classic man. butter, oh, secret oh, recipe <laughs> caramel, and robust cheese. You know if I win it, I'll share it. Dude, it's <laughs> good. I grab all of them at once and eat it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta win it. We gotta <laughs> win it. <laughs> this is my entry. <laughs> We don't need a FaceTime, nobody. Everybody's here. 2009. Happy New Year! 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 No se mueva, no se mueva. Feliz año, 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 I did a roll. Did you? I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to turn off her phone. I didn't know you were going to tur
<laughs> now I had a blast in Mexico. It sucked that I was really really sick, but I know the reason why I prolonged because once again I was not breaking my habit, and I think that that adds on to my bronchitis and the whole phlegm thing. So by this, I'll, I'm already like at this point I was like, yeah. So I've noticed that I need more help, and going into January I made the decision of going into an outpatient program to kind of help me reinforce certain interventions and coping skills that I know needs to get reminded by me and I know that I need more of a support system because I feel like I'm just I, I know that I need reinforcements I know how I am and I gotta take all the help that I need and I'm not ashamed of it to just go and ask for extra help and see if this route will help me to get into this type of routine and hopefully I'll replace the outpatient program and just start to, to work out that's what my plan is so hopefully it works out so if it doesn't hey I gotta get right back up and keep on going because stuff does happen stuff does hit the fan so it is what it is but let's keep on going okay we're going to we're going to rehab we're going to rehab we're going to rehab come with me Mary to these mountains stick with me Jesus till the end of time Shine down loud on me and let me know And take me in your arms and never let me go Let them get high Let them get stoned No more, no more Everything will be alright if no you more, let go No more, no more Let them get I'm back I cried like always it was very nerve-wracking but i was super honest with all the questions i'm eating a rice crispy because i'm an emotional eater do not model my behavior so <laughs> and i've been craving crispy cream i love this but i'm gonna come back this friday i have to meet with the therapist so they can create a treatment plan for me they really encourage me for me to really stop before friday so let's see let's see if i can do it i have faith i can it's gonna be hard they offer me medication because all of my symptoms are really i guess are really bad because <laughs> i know how the symptoms feel because i did go through certain times where i've stopped for like a year and and they offered me medication but i declined they said for me to take take it in consideration if um my symptoms get worse or i don't know like i guess just to think about it but i really don't want to do it i mean who knows i don't know it just scares me to even take that type of medication because i just i don't know i'd rather do it the healthy way I, there has to be some type of medication or supplements i could take to reduce the anxiety and panic attacks and things like that when i'm withdrawing so we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see but it's nerve-wracking but i'm excited at the same time we'll see where this goes see where this goes We'll see where this goes. Oh, hello. I just <clears throat> today. Well, I'm gonna put the date here so you guys know what date is. So I just went back to the rehabilitation center to talk to the therapist to talk about a treatment plan. And we agreed to for me to come three times a week from six to eight for group sessions to reinforce and help with my sobriety i couldn't do the monday through friday from eight i mean from eight in the morning till five i think that's really ideal for anyone who does have kaiser and is looking into going into a rehab center i think it would be a good spot maybe to check it out here because why not for me it wasn't that expensive i know that it depends on your insurance but for me it wasn't that bad i know that per session is like five dollars since i have to come every three weeks so that's only like 15 bucks a week so that to me it's worth it it's kind of like instead of me spending my money on vicio aka habit I could just be spending my money here so that kind of helps out too i'm really happy with the therapist that i had we talked a lot about like what even made me get stuck with doing my habits and it was good it was good it was very good and i'm happy that we talked and i was able to kind of let some stuff out in regards to like my relationship and how i feel and how i wish 
I could go back to the old me and that's where we're working towards my old me, my happy dandy me, my loving kind of me, the giving me. I mean, I know I'm giving, but I used to be way more giving. <laughs> and just more in a happy cheerier mood me because I'm tired of being a miserable bee sometimes, okay? And the good thing that she said is like, focus on one thing at a time. Don't make any big decisions right now. Just focus on you. I know sometimes we feel like we're being selfish, but it's the best thing that we can do for the loved ones that we have around us. And she was like, I know that it's hard to put yourself first before your son, but you have to do that in order for you to make sure you can make this a priority and really try to progress in my mental health goals and my rehab goals and breaking this habit let's see where this takes me let's see where this takes me i'm looking forward to this and i'm staying positive so see you guys in my next video please do not forget to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and do not forget to turn on the notification bell please do not forget to comment down below if you guys have any questions do you guys relate to what i'm going through and my barriers do you guys have any questions let's talk let's conversate down below okay and well i'll see you guys in my next video and i will talk to you guys later bye Today on Chelly's Mental Wealth, we're gonna go to hike right here, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna hike. We are going to hike. We're gonna increase our mental health by hiking. Because because statistics do say that when you're exposed to the color green, it does really help with your mental stability. I don't know, for some reason it makes you feel happy when you're exposed to the color green. Makes me happy. I don't, me too. I think it's just naturally because it's just our roots. Mm -hmm.